Signs of a disrespectful relationship Unfortunately, not all friendships or relationships are mutually respectful. Sometimes, you might find yourself dealing with toxic behaviors from friends slash family slash intimate partners, or even experiencing emotional abuse. Here's what disrespect can look like, being ghosted ignored or given the a silent treatment being criticized or insulted being humiliated, punished, blamed or threatened they lie, make up rumors or do other actions designed to hurt you or your reputation your thoughts and feelings being dismissed or minimized weaponized insecurities a they bring up stuff or highlight stuff you're uncomfortable slash embarrassed about or told them in secret you feel like the stuff you say is always a wrong they make everything about them how can disrespect impact your relationships we get a lot of our self-worth from how the people we care about see us being disrespected can make you feel not good enough worthless or like no one will want to be in a friendship or relationship with you I'm being disrespected what can I do sometimes we find ourselves not feeling respected by other people including our family or friends while it's not always possible to change somebody and make them respect you there are some things you can try show people what respect looks like by being respectful yourself communicate clearly a they may not realize how you feel set some boundaries stand up for yourself spend time with people who are respectful and make you feel safe tell the person what they are doing isn't okay and be specific talk to somebody you trust like a parent teacher or counselor try to understand their point of view give that person a chance to change their behavior toward you it's okay to end friendships with people if they can't be respectful and you don't feel safe around them self-respect don't forget to have respect for yourself too self-respect means accepting yourself as you are it's not about being perfect a it's about knowing that you're deserving of respect simply for being you self-respect also means being part of respectful relationships and not putting up with disrespect ending a relationship that isn't respectful is a way of respecting yourself you can call out disrespect or discrimination by saying we don't do that here anyone can be a disrespect upstander What did you get up to on the weekend? Oh, dude, I had the best weekend. I ate some ice cream, played some video games. Oh, and I went down to the park with my mates and played an epic game of basketball. Oh, stunning. That sounds like so much fun. I absolutely love basketball. Do you reckon I can come next time? You are way too short. There are no shorties allowed, sorry. Rude. What? I can't believe Ollie was making fun of my height. That's so mean. I'm not even that short, am I? Even if I am short, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I should be allowed to play basketball just like everyone else. Oh, what do I do? I know. Amanda, thank you so much for meeting with me today. No problem, Leah. What's been going on? So, Ollie said that I can't play basketball with him and his friends because I'm so short. And if I'm honest, it made me feel really bad. That's understandable. It sounds like what you experienced was actually discrimination, which is when people treat you differently because of something about you, like your race, your gender identity, or even your height. Hmm, okay. Discrimination can look different for different people. Sometimes it's really obvious, and sometimes it can be really subtle. Whether it's obvious or subtle though, it's really normal to feel a bit down or depressed about it, to feel not good enough, or to feel really stuck about what to do and really powerless. Yeah, that's actually exactly how I'm feeling. I'm just not really sure what I should do. The first thing is to remember that differences are actually a good thing. We're all unique and if we we're all the same, life would be pretty boring. So focusing on what makes you, you is really powerful.
there are some other things you can try as well. So it's really okay to get some help or support and chat things through like we are right now if you need. If you're feeling like you can, you could also try being an upstander and call out that behaviour because it's really inappropriate and it's not okay for anyone to be discriminated against. If it happens more than once or it keeps happening, it's really important to start keeping some evidence as well in case you need to take things further because there might be cases where people are being discriminated against, where it could be against a law or a more serious issue and they need to speak to an adult they trust or possibly even the police. And of course, the other thing is, if you do see someone else being discriminated against, it's really important to let the people who are doing the discrimination know that that's just not okay and that we don't do that. And I guess I could call Kids Helpline for some more advice, right? Absolutely. For anyone aged five to 25, we're open 24 seven. It's a free call and you can give us a call on the phone, send us an email or start up a web chat anytime and for any reason. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for your advice today. I think I'm going to go talk to Ollie now. All right, see you, Amanda. See ya. Hey, Ollie, you know that thing you said about me being too short to play basketball? Yeah, well, that actually really hurt my feelings and I think I'd be really good at playing basketball. Plus, there's nothing wrong with being short. OK, Leah, look, I'm sorry. I didn't realise I hurt your feelings. Of course you can come play. Now we're going to Wingstop for my next job. About US Wingstop. And we don't stop. What began as a small buffalo style chicken wing restaurant in Garland, Texas, continues to soar to great heights. Today there are more than 2,000 restaurants open across the globe. Wingstop quickly became a fan favorite when we first opened our doors in 1994. Our proprietary recipes, outstanding food and superior customer service created a demand that could only be satisfied by more locations. And in 1997 we began offering franchises. Today we are one of the fastest growing concepts in the country, attracting top entrepreneurs and operators with the drive and passion to own their own business over 20 years of flavor. Since setting up shop in 94, we've been putting flavor first. And we're not about to stop. We're all about taking our wings to another level, saucing and tossing the freshest flavors you crave along the way. Our mission, to serve the world flavor. We're not in the wing business. We're in the flavor business. It's been our mission to serve the world flavor since we first opened shop in 94 and we're just getting started. 1997 saw the opening of our first franchised Wings Top location, and by 2002 we had served the world, 1 billion, Wings. It's flavor that defines us and has made Wings Top one of the fastest growing brands in the restaurant industry. Wings Top is the destination when you crave fresh never faked wings, hand-cut seasoned fries and any of our famous sides. For people who demand flavor in everything they do, there's only Wingstop, because it's more than a meal, it's a flavor experience. Welcome to Wingstop. How may I help you? I want a chicken sandwich, but I don't know which flavors. We have a limited time offer, hot honey rub, spicy Korean, garlic parmesan, atomic hot, Louisiana rub. Hawaiian, mango habanero, mild, plain, Cajun, hickory smoked barbecue, original hot, which is most popular, even in Wingstop Charlotte Meridian by East Mecklenburg High School, and another popular item, lemon pepper. Ah, uh, no thanks. Checks grill and wings are better than Wingstop. Bye bye. I don't understand how Chex Grill and Wings better than Wingstop, just because Chex Grill and Wings has a ton of flavor variation options. Well, I mean, oh, that is kind of true. Shut the fuck up! After explaining every part about respect, Jacob Fuckington better get it now. But now, we're quitting time for my 90th job.